Hey everyone, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel and today we are playing some more Historic here on Magic Arena and I have another really fun, really sweet deck that I want to bring to y'all and we're going to hop right into it and we are playing Induced Memory. So as you can see right smack dab in the middle of the screen, we are playing a deck that does go, um, that is built around Shieldred, the Apocalypse. If you're not familiar with this, you might be living under a rock, but for four mana, we have a four five Death Touch. And on top of that, we have whenever you draw a card, you gain two life. And whenever an opponent draws a card, they lose two life. So yes, we are going to try to force our opponent to draw as many cards as possible. Uh, and I do want to be very um, transparent here. We played a ton of games with this deck. This deck is a deck for fun. So um, I, I definitely think this deck can be built a lot better. But there are cards in this deck that are not needed. Um, but you know what? Again, we're here to have fun and play some magic, and that's what we're doing. So we're going to make our opponent draw some cards. So we're going to try to go through this as quickly as possible. We have, in order to have our opponents draw cards, we have four copies of Induced Amnesia. This is a three-man enchantment that just says whenever it enters the battlefield, our opponent's going to exile, or any player is going to exile their hand and then draw that many cards. And then whenever this is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, those cards get returned back to the owner's hands. So this is going to be really good for a number of reasons, but mainly it's to force somebody to draw cards, usually our opponent, because again, we want our opponent drawing cards to take a whole bunch of damage. We have Commit to Memory. Commit to Memory is a counterspell on one half. It's going to, uh, you know, put something on top of their library, second card from the top, or it's going to essentially Time Twister. It's going to, for six mana, cast it from the graveyard. Both players reshuffle and draw seven. So that is just going to be a, a quick 14 damage to our opponent. And then last but not least, in the form of draw cards, we are playing Force Fruition. This is a six mana enchantment. And it says whenever an opponent casts a spell, that player draws seven cards. So if we get this on the board and they have an empty board or um, anything like that, if Shoulder's already on the board, we are basically forcing them to take 14 damage in order to just even attempt to deal with it. So that is the idea behind the deck. We also have, uh, like I said, Beseech the Mirror. This actually has some really cool synergy. So Beseech the Mirror, we all have seen this card recently. It's a four mana tutor, but it does have bargain. And it says if you pay the bargain cost, which is sacrificing an artifact, enchantment, or token, you get to the card that you tutor for. As long as it's four or less, you get to cast it for free. So like I was saying, there was uh, some really great synergy with Induced Amnesia, and that is going to be the bargain from Beseech uh, the Mirror. So what happens is, let's say we induced Amnesia, our opponent, for seven. We made them draw seven. And then what we do is we bargain the Beseech the Mirror, sacrificing the in, uh, induced Amnesia. They will then get all seven cards that were exiled from this previously back into their hand. And then we will be casting the the card from under here. And, and again, this is just going to be a way to potentially... Uh, you know, get our opponent really good with a lot of cards in their hand. So it doesn't really do um, much other than that, but we could potentially put seven more cards in their hand with the Besiege and then cast another Induced Amnesia that we tutored for with the Besiege. So it's really cool. It's just a, it's a really like a hidden way to kill our opponent with a uh, shoulder implant. Other than that, we have Fatal Pushes for early removal. We have Thought Seize for early hand disruption. We have Drown in the Locks. These are kind of hit or miss because again, um, they only work with cards in our opponent's graveyard. We don't necessarily want to put cards in our opponent's graveyard other than these two cards. Um, so this is kind of hit or miss. And again, this might be one of those cards that need to be replaced. We have four copies of Mindstone because, you know, ramping is great. It's super powerful. We have four copies of Ritual of Soot, again, for those early, um, you know, small decks that go wide, you know, goblins, elves, uh, the white life gain deck, stuff like that. Um, and then we've covered everything else. So this is the deck. Again, uh, it's a lot of fun. I will tell you that. But I will tell you this deck is not a great deck overall. You don't want to be trying to climb the ladder with this because you will fall short. Um, but again, you're going to see some really cool games. You're going to see some um, really fun ways to win. And uh, yeah, other than that, you know, we're going to hop into the games. Just remember, if you enjoy the deck, the channel, the video, like, comment, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all at the wrap up. Okay, we'll keep this. Opponent's got all all those sweet sleeves. Oh, we don't care about that. Soul Warden gaining all the life. Soul Warden still gaining all the life. Um, you know what? We're gonna play. This. 
So, okay, so we could commit. And then... Yeah, I'm going to commit this. And then I'm going to go get a shield rid next turn. I guess I'm not, like, too concerned with that. You gain a little bit of life. It's unfortunate, but... Okay. What do you have in your hand? <laughs> Nothing? Oh my gosh, what is that? Uh, well, I'm definitely not going to induce amnesia, you. I guess we're... I guess we're racing. Um, I don't care about this. Still think we're winning. We're winning this race. So, uh, I definitely forgot about that. So, beseech. I mean, we're just getting hit. We're just getting a land. I mean, that was pretty good. So they attack. So I'm going to attack. And if they take it, they lose the game. Oh. Who knew they weren't going to take it? All right, well. Good game, opponent. All right, that worked well. Uh, I mean, I, th I think I'm going to keep this. Depending on what our opponent is. They got, they got dragons, so they're probably wizards. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I gotta bolt the bird. Right? Always bolt the bird. I got... I got a little uh, anxious when I saw that copper line gorge, right? I thought they were about to slam him in into the mighty.
Um, so this fatal push was pretty good. I don't want to accidentally just get prodigy out of this game because I. Re this is fine. So this is gonna allow us to ritual for just a bunch of stuff here. Oh, it, they! Wow, what a hit! What a hit! Holy moly! You remember when Burning Tremissary was banned in Historic? Okay, well, we're not dead here, right? Because they can only attack with that. So... We're at 12, and then they concede? Right? Like... I mean, let's be real. Like, we all knew that was about to happen. All right. Is this something we want to keep? I like the double fatal pushes, but I don't like not being able to cast them on turn one. So, yeah, we're going to we're going to keep this. And what do we put back? Maybe a thought sees. Yep, this is exactly why I mulliganed, just in case we were against this this matchup. They're just going to go for it? They're just like, they just don't care. They're like, he's got to have it or he doesn't have it. I'm like, you know what? We have it. See you later. Nice. <laughs> Um, hmm. Of course they drew a one drop. Why wouldn't they have drawn a one drop? You play your Valkyrie? Yep. Valkyrie is good. So. Could Fatal Push. What happens if I play Shieldred here? Why didn't they attack? It's curious. What if they triple block? That would be amazing. We're doing okay. Do I care about this? So what does this do? Creature's toughness. So 
So I gained six. It's still really good. Induced amnesia. So, all right, let me think. I could sack a Mind Stone, draw a card, kill a Valkyrie. <clears throat> I think that is what we're going to do. I mean, then we just wipe the board, right? We just wipe the board and the game ends. That just makes a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. Now we're going to mulligan this. We have too many four drops. Okay, okay, all right, well, there's the, uh, there's the bug, right? Put a card on the bottom, draw the card. All right, how many elves are they going to put into play? Yeah, I'll start them over. They still have a hand of five, so it's really not the end of the world. This is... This is quite the remix here. I think next turn we're going to go ahead and get a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, a Shieldred. Uh, or, depending on how much they put into play, maybe we just go get a, another board wipe. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're gonna hold off, right? I have I have a counter essentially, so could commit the token. Take five. Commit the Imperious Perfect, and I take three. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm kind of trying to bait him into playing just more things on the board. That's probably a collected company in their hand. I mean, it's waiting for them to do something, so that has to be a collected company, right? Do you want a collected company in response? <clears throat> oh, I guess not. <laughs> you can't smell your own knees. I don't think there's any reason to uh, play a Watery Gear Untapped on turn one since we're going first. If we were going second, I would potentially shock this in. But. Okay. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just shock it in. We're going to have to shock it in eventually anyway. I mean, I'm here for this. Uh-oh. Nah, no blocks. I don't really feel like I need to do this yet. <laughs> to give it flying. Okay. Wow. Okay. Alright, I'm going to gain a little bit of life back here so we really only lose one. And then... Um, I mean... Do I just commit here? Attack? I, you know, obviously, Ritualing of Sooting is the correct play. Oh yeah, this is this is amazing. Oh, opponent. Oh, come back, opponent. Oh yeah, we're gonna keep this. Bolt the bird. So this is good, right? We can uh, we can play Shielder next turn. <clears throat> so no, we don't have enough mana to do that. Is today just play against Elve Day? Okay, clan caller, clan caller. Well, opponent, you're not going to like this play.
<laughs> Slap concede. So, yep. Uh, we go first. Um, I actually think this is fine to keep. Is opponent playing mono green? Let's find out. They'll just draw another elf. I wonder if I was supposed to just cast an induced amnesia there. They have a cat. What? They have Castle Locked Wayne in their deck? Really? You just draw Allosaur Shepherd off the top? Okay. So we take three, and then we take... Why don't you attack? Why don't you attack, opponent? Oh, they scooped it up. We're just going to play Elves over and over and over again. playing opponent mill okay I don't love that at all. So I'm just fully expecting them to do this. And then... Okay. No, thank you.
get we can like we get rid of it one Tasha said you slapped her there which is fine sure I mean we're about to reshuffle so it doesn't really matter Okay, uh, don't, don't they have to do, like, commit memory? No, I guess not. Alright, this is going to make it a little hard to, to win. Protect Shieldred at all cost. Whoops. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, you definitely messed up there. If I just uh, if you just milled over to commit to memories. Um, all right, well we're gonna try this. I wish I was going first. Have I have we played this opponent today? Gonna lead on the uh, drowned catacomb here. Yep. I mean, I think if they just slam a Karn here, we just lose. So what sucks here is, like, I'm going to play Shieldred, right? But, like, even if I were to Ritual of Sit here, they still have access to five mana. So we'll just do this, right? Because with the with the Kiora, at least, if they play big creatures, we get them a little bit. I really just want to draw land in the next two turns. Oh, there's Karn. I mean, I'm just going to attack. Do we have... Okay, I'm glad I looked, because we don't actually have any swamps, so I do need to play this. Are you going to... Um... I mean, if they have another Karn, then they just get us, but I don't think they do. And again, though, we don't have a... We don't have a, an, un... we don't have a swamp or an island in play. It makes that land really, really awkward.
I mean, I just want to get through with damage here. Alright, so they're going to draw Kiora, and then... I mean, they can do something with Old Growth Troll, but then we just... We just cast memory and win the game. Okay. Let's draw some cards. Pew, 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 pew. Got him. All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the wrap-up. And like I told you, this deck is a lot of fun to play. You saw us win a lot. Um, you know, we're still constantly running into the Mini of the Mighty decks. So you did see us uh, Fatal Push and then get some concessions. You saw us wipe the board multiple times with Ritual of Soot and then get some concessions after that. Uh, because, again, right, sometimes people play in a, such a form or fashion where you just have to make your opponent have it. So sometimes you run out all of your creatures, and if your opponent doesn't have a, a board wipe or some kind of interaction, then you're going to win. But uh, luckily for us, we're always trying to actually interact with our opponent most of the time. Um, and, uh, you know, when we have the answers, we have the answers. But uh, so like I was saying on some of the cards, right, um, cards that may or may not belong in this deck, you know, Force Fruition was kind of, this is kind of a win more card. You don't necessarily need this in play. But if uh, your opponent just isn't doing anything when you land a Shieldred, it can win the game. Um, induced Amnesia, this is really how we started the deck building process with this deck. Um, you know, we wanted to induce Amnesia Shieldred, and then we kind of, you know, added from there. Um, this doesn't need to be in the deck, you know, um, it just really doesn't. Um, you know, this could be a mono black deck, but, you know, we've done mono black before. The Drown of the Locks can be a number of other cards. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I really wanted to do something along those lines. You know, Commit to Memory is really great. I think this is actually one of the better cards in the deck, obviously, because it, it's just uh, immediately let's draw let's draw seven and, you know, uh, hit hit for 14. But uh, other than that, you know, the Induced Amnesia, Force Fruitions could, could come out. Um, you know, I did feel like most of the games, even some of the games you didn't see, I cast in, Induced Amnesia on myself just to, like, try to look for answers. And it kind of feels bad when you're using your 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 finisher card, so to speak, to actually, um, you know, on yourself to actually try to dig yourself out of a hole. So really not going to work that way. Um, but, you know, as always, though, this deck I thought was a lot of fun. Um, it's definitely not, uh, you know, not high up there on competitiveness. But, you know, do with it as you will, right? Shieldred is a busted card in itself. This card can just win win the game by itself. But, but yeah, put in more removal, put in bounce, put in uh, other ways to draw cards for both players. And, uh, you know, you got a winner usually when you're playing Shieldred. You know, definitely meant to uh, purposely not include, like, cards like the One Ring or Bowmaster or anything like that. Because, again, those were nerfed recently. And then we don't always want to include all three of those cards together when deck building. But yeah, as always, as always, if you enjoy the deck, the channel, the video, please like, comment, subscribe, check out all the cool links down below, join the Discord, would love to see you there, come and hang out, and then again, on the weekends, we stream, um, and this week, we will be streaming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, in the mornings, and uh, hop on over to twitch.tv slash Matumbo and would love for y'all to hang out, bring your deck idea, bring a deck list, bring an idea, just bring a build around card, and maybe you'll, um, you know, we'll put your deck together live on the channel, and uh your deck will turn into one of these videos. So with that being said, everyone, please stay safe and we will see you all next time.